Imagine flying from New York to London in just over three hours. Without the thunderous roar of a sonic boom rattling windows and shaking the ground. Since 1947, we've been obsessed with breaking the sound barrier. But one obstacle has always stood in the way. That deafening, bone-shaking boom. Today, NASA believes they've cracked the code with an aircraft that could make supersonic flight silent. This is the story of the X-59. Back in 1947, Chuck Yeager piloted the Bell X-1 past the speed of sound, and humanity entered a new era. Concorde followed decades later, slicing across the Atlantic at twice the speed of sound. But there was a catch. When a plane goes faster than sound, it pushes air molecules so hard, they create a shock wave like a boat's wake, but in the sky. On the ground, that shock wave hits as a sonic boom a thunderclap loud enough to rattle buildings and spook entire neighborhoods. That's why to this day, supersonic passenger flights over land are banned in most countries. You can go fast, but only over the ocean. So how do you break the sound barrier without breaking everyone's eardrums? NASA's answer? The X-59 Quest, short for Quiet Supersonic Technology. Built in partnership with Lockheed Martin's legendary Skunk Works, the X-59 is an experimental jet designed to turn that earth-shaking boom into a gentle thump. It's not a passenger plane, yet. Think of it as a flying laboratory. NASA will fly it over communities, measure the noise, and ask people, was that okay? If it works, regulators might finally lift the ban on supersonic travel over land. Here's the magic, aerodynamics. The X-59 is long and needle-shaped, with a 30-foot nose that spreads out the shock waves before they merge into one loud boom. Its wings are swept back for efficiency, the surfaces are sculpted for smooth airflow, and even the engine is mounted on top, hiding it from the ground to muffle noise. And that cockpit? No forward-facing windows. Instead, the pilot sees through high-resolution cameras feeding a 4K display. Without a bulky canopy, the fuselage stays sleek and the airflow stays quiet. Before a single piece of the X-59 was built, NASA and Lockheed engineers tested it in the virtual world. Advanced computer models simulated how air would move around the aircraft, predicting boom levels, testing tweaks, and saving years of trial and error. But simulations only go so far. The real test? Taking this thing into the sky. The first flight was originally set for 2021, but when you're building something that's never been done before, delays happen. Engineers ran stress tests, checked every fuel line, and made sure the structure could handle the forces of supersonic speed. Now, the X-59 is in final assembly at Palmdale, California, gearing up for its maiden flight. If the X-59 succeeds, it could trigger a new golden age of speed Companies like Boom Supersonic are already designing passenger jets that could cross continents in hours instead of half a day. Imagine breakfast in Los Angeles, lunch in Tokyo, business meetings across oceans, even military aircraft could benefit from stealthier supersonic operations. The potential is huge. But it all depends on whether the X-59 can turn its quiet thump into a ticket for the next generation of travel. The X-59 isn't just about speed, it's about possibility. It's about rewriting the rules of flight so the world can shrink without shaking it to pieces. From Chuck Yeager's boom in 1947 to NASA's whisper of the future, this journey proves one thing. In aviation, the sky is never the limit. Thanks for watching Skynotch. 
If you enjoyed this dive into the future of supersonic flight, hit like, share it with a fellow aviation geek, and subscribe for more. Until next time, fly high and stay adventurous.